nubs and chips, oranges and apples. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. School lunch looks the same every year. No sauce? Nothing? There you go. But this year, it could cost you. Last year was free, which was a big blessing. Courtney Sandoval is one of millions of American parents who benefited from the federal funds that made lunch free for all public school students for nearly two years. That pandemic era programs now expired. Courtney is preparing to send her two kids back to Cotto Mills and knows it's gonna cost her. I'm looking at like 200 bucks extra a month. And with the cost of everything up, that adds up quick. Still, Courtney told me she and her husband make too much money to qualify for reduced priced meals. Something that I've been thinking about is getting a second job on the weekends. And I know we're not the only people that feel like this. In a back to school survey, 49% of you, our viewers, said you feel financially prepared for the school year. But more than half, 51%, said you don't feel financially prepared or fall somewhere in the middle. Money's tight right now for a lot of folks. Money is tight right now. Liz Raftree is the director of child nutrition for Denton ISD. She and her team traveled to D.C. to lobby legislators to extend the federal free lunch program. Obviously, they were not successful. We will continue to feed students. Raftree told me her district will never turn away a hungry child. Kids, as they have in years past, maybe now more than ever, will dip into the negatives in their lunch accounts. Does the district put that? Uh, yes, they do. Her advice, if you think you might qualify for free or reduced meals, apply through your district and lobby your lawmakers for change. In Dallas, I'm Sydney Persing.